Hi, this is Timothy McCall. I'm sending this from Kerala, India. I'm here uh, studying Ayurveda with my teacher, Chanakuri Vaidyar, and uh, getting some much needed treatments. And I want to uh, send out this uh, celebration of Larry Payne and his more than 35 years of service to the worlds of yoga and yoga therapy. Uh, we have many things to be grateful to Larry for. Uh, one of them is bringing TKV Deskachar to the United States for the first time. And I have to say, in the work I've done in yoga therapy, in researching my book, Yoga as Medicine, I traveled around India and around the United States viewing the work of top yoga therapists. And I was really impressed by the people in this lineage, the work they did. Now, when I was in medical school, we were taught to use the medical model when evaluating patients to first diagnose their condition in Western medical terms, and then based on that diagnosis, come up with a treatment. What the work at the KYM so brilliantly showed, Deskachar's work, is that this is not what the best yoga therapists actually do. We certainly consider people's medical conditions, but we treat people, not medical conditions. Now, this was a misunderstanding that I came into the yoga world with. I thought, you had low back pain, there would be certain things that we would use for low back pain. Now, if you read magazines, if you look in books, you'll certainly find the 12 poses for low back pain or for osteoporosis or whatever else it might be. But what I discovered, and I watched Deskachar and Iyengar and others practice, is that even people who write the books that have the sequences for diseases don't practice that way. They individually evaluate each student who comes to them. They look at their structure. They look at the state of their nervous system. Uh, their psychological well-being. They look at them in the case of the Krishnamacharya Yoga Mandarin from an Ayurvedic perspective. They look at how spiritually fulfilled they are, how much they're on a path of spiritual growth, and they look at their diet and lifestyle. All these factors together then help inform what the treatment should be, not just the medical diagnosis. And I think this, this is the great advantage of yoga therapy and other holistic systems over conventional medicine. Because you know what? A lot of times in conventional medicine, the diagnosis is wrong. Or we don't know what the person has yet. It hasn't fully declared itself. In that case, we often don't know what to do for the patient other than perhaps give medications to try to suppress symptoms. But in yoga and Ayurveda, we don't have to know what the medical diagnosis is. We can evaluate people holistically and come up with a treatment. So, Larry, for help propagating this information, getting out to the world, uh, we are so in gratitude to you and look forward to what you have for us in the coming decades. Namaste.